and never forget Pippin's big business. And it's been going on since the beginning of time. And it's going to continue straight ahead until somebody up there turns out the lights on this small planet. Can you dig it? Yeah, yeah, I can dig it, yeah. Right on. You know, you see us twirling these coins. We used to always try to outdo one another. Who can twirl the longer? That's cold, Jack D with some good times, man. I mean, pimping was pimping in the days. Everybody had their Cadillac. I mean, Rolls Royce is the exceptional one. Look at me with dollar signs on the back and a crown. Jack, the king of the pimp. What are you, what's your greatest lesson out of doing this film? One of the, oh, there's so many lessons in it. There's so many good lessons in it. But one of the biggest lessons I learned is just how resilient the African mind is. The king of the pimp. When it's going back to our ourself, what we are, who we are, when we get rid of the European um, shade that's over us, mm -hmm. when we go back to who we really are, we become invincible to a certain degree. Men stop loving us. It's them. They got to this country and they're angry because, like him, he's mad because he doesn't have black American swag. Let me build on what the sister brought up. She brought up a very good point, how a lot of their culture, the, the dynamic between the men and women is very janky. And then what happens is they bring that degenerate culture here and then they start blaming us and tying us in with their degenerate behavior. That was cold, Jack. People, I learned how African people can use ingenuity when we're thinking on our own resources. Um, when I went to Haiti to do the movie, Good afternoon, I'm Pastor Connie from Operation Love Ministry based out of North Hollywood, California. And we're in um, Flon, uh, Haiti, the site of our future school. This latest development in Ferguson shows that the situation isn't really being tackled properly. Were you surprised at the latest shooting? The tensions down there that were created by law enforcement and the system of racism that allows injustice to happen to um, African people, I'm not shocked. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, there was some good times in them days. A lot of them pimps is going on. Bam.